serious tension and panic engulf Nigerian uh, capital Abuja and Nigeria as a whole as Nigerian youths stormed the street in protest of, of NSAS. And if Buhari fails to address us on national TV today, we will shut down the airport tomorrow. The issue of SARS killing of SARS killing is getting out of hand, and President Muhammad Buhari has been trending on Twitter. A lot of ill-mannered things have been happening, and people are seriously angry. And recently, a man called Aquela Trendy have taken to his Twitter account to share a post. And the post reads, If at Muhammad Buhari fails to address us on national TV today, we will march down to the airport tomorrow and shut the place down. By then, we won't only be demanding hashtag end SARS. We will be demanding hashtag Buhari resign. We are not going back on this. Aluta continua hashtag end SARS protest. It is what it is. It is sad and it is unfortunate. This post has gotten a lot of reaction on Twitter and everyone has been supporting what the man said. Well, let's just hope President Buhari speaks to us today. The issue of SARS is getting out of hand and anything that needs to be done has to be done fast. Let's quickly take a few reactions as it were. Before that, we all know what the situation has been in the country as regards the uh, NSAS movement and NSAS protest, as it were. A lot of protest has been going on. They have killed so many youths all across the country, different states. They have killed so many people. And the government does not seem to have taken the needed steps that ought to be taken or that the people expect the government to take. That is the more reason why people are, at this point in time, calling for NSAS. Nigerians are asking and demanding that SARS be ended. But it remains to be seen if that will happen or if the government will yield to this cry and call of the people. Well, it is what it is, guys. Let's take a few reactions and let's hear what people are saying concerning this particular news story as it were. Kick them out of every state in Nigeria. Say no to SARS. Olua Shago at Admiral says, if it comes down to fighting for it, where are our various anti-government groups, Niger Delta militants? It might come to this, because apparently it seems we have to be loud enough for BBC World at CNN at Fox News to hear us. Hashtag end SARS. Another person says, it is a brilliant idea. We need to shut down this country and we need to shut down uh, Muhammad Buhari's airport. Well, it is what it is. The president has failed to speak to Nigerians in so many instances. Taking, for example, it took uh, the cry, constant cry and uh, call from the people before the president could address the nation during the COVID-19 pandemic, which he addressed the nation on few occasions. Thereafter, on national issues, he has only spoken to Nigerians via his spokespersons or via Twitter messages on his official Twitter account, which um, a lot of people feel or say is a disrespect to the people of Nigeria who elected him you know, uh, into the office to serve. Be that as it were, people are frowning uh, against the activities of men of the SARS saying that SARS needs to be scrapped entirely. Though the Inspector General of Police has taken steps and taken action by issuing a statement or a directive that all men of the SARS should uh, no longer be seen on patrol 
on stop and search uh, uh, duty as it were. And they should always be in their official uniform as it is. That was a directive of the Inspector General of Police. But a lot of Nigerians and celebrities feel that no, that is not enough. And hitherto, they have taken to the streets to protest. While some even spent the night at uh, some of the government uh, offices or government houses, expecting that they will be addressed in some states like Lagos State. In Abuja, it was reported and recorded that the police dispersed protesters with tear gas. It is what it is. Nigeria is gradually uh, tilting towards uh, declaring a revolution because the way and manner at which things have you know, been going on in the country has left a lot of people bewildered. We're talking about poverty. We're talking about the price of petroleum, fuel. We're talking about the price of electricity, which has gone up. We're also talking about levels of insecurity. Even on top of that, the uh, SAS officers have continued up to kill Nigerian youths, demanding for their phones to see what they do with their phones or on their phones. And at the end of the day, on their laptops, they, they, uh, and at the end of the day, they are... Uh, extort them by asking them to do transfers. It got to the extent that even some of the SAS men have POS, whereby once they get hold of you, you are asked to, you know, they use POS to withdraw your money and all that. It has gotten to that uh, level and a lot of people have cried out saying that SAS needs to be ended. The police needs to be reformed. But it is sad and unfortunate that Nigerian, the Nigerian president uh, authorities, as it were, have refused to take the needed actions or the desired actions that Nigerians expect or want them to take. It remains to be seen. While we understand the security implication of this, we also should consider what the Nigerian people want and consider how to keep Nigeria safe. People can no, can no longer continue to lose their lives. Youths, especially, can no longer be extorted here and there. A lot of times they are being brutalized, they are being uh, uh, assaulted in public. The, the, there are so many clips of the assault and brutalization on social media that anybody can see. So why should we continue like this? All this shouldn't be seen or shouldn't be uh, entertained. And that is what the youths are demanding for. Even uh, celebrities have joined in. The protest is now, there's going to be a protest in London, which is going to be led and headed by uh, uh, Mike Edwards, you know, the uh, one of the runners up in the uh, BB Ninja last season, not this lockdown season, the one before the lockdown season. So, and so many other. So the people of the youth of Nigeria are asking the world to intervene since the president has refused to speak to Nigerians or intervene in the issue. It is sad and unfortunate. What does it take the president to address the nation or address the Nigerian youth on these particular issues? What does it take the Nigerian president to issue a statement, address the Nigerian, come out and uh, talk to Nigerians? So I feel your pain. We are working towards uh, this. There is a modality. Even the National Assembly and uh, all what have you have been, the Senate have uh, led, lended their voices to this particular issue. While the Senate president was quoted to have said that SARS cannot be scrapped, members of the Houses of Assembly or House of Assembly in Abuja have been calling for the reform or police reform and probably the scrapping of SARS. Some of them even narrated their own experiences in the hands of the men of the SARS, which is definitely not palatable. These guys, to a very large extent, take laws into their hands because they know that they are with the guns. And to a very large extent, some of them have killed intentionally young people without any uh, uh, remorse. They threaten to kill and eventually they carry out the killing. It is sad and unfortunate, honestly. I stand to be corrected. Until the president does the needful, they might, the protest might just continue. Well, drop by in the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories.
Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.